All right, Dr. Schultz, so our next topic is robotic surgery. And a lot of people want to know what the process is and what your opinion is on it. So robotic surgeries replaced the older methods where, unfortunately, men had a big scar that went from their sternum all the way down to their pubic bone. And the doctors needed that kind of exposure because they had to get their hands deep into the pelvis, move the bladder aside, and then do all kinds of little microsurgery, you know, cut the urethra, the passageway, that uh, the urine goes from the bladder through the prostate and out the penis. And uh, that uh, all being accomplished in oftentimes uh, problems with bleeding and things that would obscure visual um, access to the area. So what's the issue with robotic surgery? So I think around 2004, 2005, uh, the Da Vinci Company came up with an idea for uh, operating remotely using little pinchers and uh, the, which were on robotic arms that could go into much smaller incisions. So you didn't have to open up the whole tummy to get to the uh, prostate area. And uh, then using uh, magnification and bright lights inside, these uh, little robotic arms could kind of sneak around. And uh, obviously a more efficient way to handle the very tight anatomy of the pelvis. And uh, there's a lot of initial excitement about the possibilities that this would improve um, cure rates, uh, that it would reduce the incidence of uh, impotence and reduce the incidence of incontinence. Unfortunately, after many studies and comparative um, evaluations, it did none of that. Uh, the incidence of impotence, incontinence, and cure rates is identical with old-fashioned surgery and uh, the newer robotic approach, which now these days almost everyone gets uh, robotic surgery. So are there any advantages to doing robotic surgery compared to the older methods? And the answer is yes. Uh, when you cut a gigantic incision from your sternum to your pubic bone, that's a major in invasive insult to the body. And in those days, it would take anywhere from one to three weeks to recover from that operation. With the robotic surgery and the smaller incisions, people are going home much more from the hospital much more quickly, and the uh, recovery is much faster. The ultimate outcomes, though, the long-term outcomes in terms of cure rates, impotence rates, and uh, control of uh, urinary function is unchanged, which, in my view, is a big disappointment. Um, uh, when robotic surgery first came out, the radiation world was pretty backwards, and there were a lot of men that were getting rectal burns, and the radiation wasn't powerful enough to cure people. But what has changed in the last 15 years, robotic surgery stayed about the same, but radiation technology has improved immensely. And uh, now, as of 2020, I rarely uh, even consider surgery as an option for men with newly diagnosed prostate cancer. Mm. I'm really glad you spoke to that, because I think Robotic surgery is marketed heavily that it's going to have better cure rates than the old-fashioned non-robotic surgery. But to hear an expert like you say that it's the same and there really isn't much of a difference is huge. Um, I think even in the clinical trials when it comes to radiation and surgery, it definitely shows that surgery is, has much better outcomes. There are actually clinical trials arguing that surgery has better um, cure rates. But in those clinical trials, they didn't point out that the men getting surgery are 10, 15 years younger than the men getting radiation, and that the men getting surgery have earlier, easier to treat disease. So it's not really an apple versus apple comparison. Uh, yeah, the surgery industry is a multi-billion dollar uh, industry, very strong, and there's a lot of momentum because 10, 15 years ago, the radiation was certainly inferior. And surgery had the whole world uh, by the tail. It was, it was the way to go. But uh, things change quickly in this modern era. Technology changes uh, with better computers, better targeting. Uh, the non-invasive radiation options are causing far less damage and uh, they're easily replicating the surgical cure rates now. Thank you so much for watching. If you appreciated this video, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. This helps share this video across the YouTube platform for other prostate cancer patients. And if you have a question that you would like asked in the future, you can go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. For further questions or any information you need, you can visit us at pcri.org.